Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Google image search and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to do a reverse Google image search on your iPhone or iPad. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're watching this video, you're probably looking to reverse search an image that you have taken or somebody has sent to you on Google. And you found out that if you go to Safari and go to google.com like I did, and then you click over to images like right here, it doesn't give you an option to upload a picture. That way you can search it against Google's database of photos to see if that picture matches somebody else online or possibly the item matches something online. But I'm going to show you step by step on how you can update your phone to allow this. This is a pretty easy process, guys. Not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end because you're going to be able to do this on Safari. So first thing what you want to do is you want to go to your settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Let me click over there now. All right, so I went ahead and opened over to my settings app on my iPhone. It's this gray gear looking wheel right here. This is where you're going to want to start guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my settings tab now. All right. So I went ahead and opened up the settings icon. And then here on this screen, what you want to do is scroll all the way down until you get to the Safari section. That's where you're going to make the changes that allow you to do this process on your iPhone and iPad. And here it is right here. It's a blue circle with like a little compass. I'm going to click there now. All right. So I went ahead and opened up the Safari settings. And what you want to do is scroll all the way down right here until you get to a section called request desktop website. Again, that's request desktop website. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you're here, then you get this little toggle button. Now just be aware that once you toggle this, all websites that you pull up with Safari will pull up the desktop version, not the mobile version. So if you prefer the mobile version, you'll need to go back in and change the setting. But in order to do the reverse image search on Safari, you will need to change this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change mine now. All right now, so now Safari has been updated. So let me switch back over to Safari now. All right, so here we are back on Google Safari. And then as you can see now, we currently have the mobile website for Google. So you wanna go ahead and refresh your screen. I'm gonna refresh mine now. All right, so I went ahead and refreshed it. And now you can see we have the desktop version here. So now we can go ahead and do a reverse search for Google images. And all you wanna do is go ahead and click right here on this top right you can zoom in and click images. Okay, so I went ahead and clicked there and now you can see it's kind of small because it's the desktop version, but you can zoom in, it's Google images. Next, what you wanna do is click this little camera button right here. I'm gonna click there now. All right, I click there. Next, what you wanna do is go ahead and click on this upload an image. I'm going to click there now. All right. So now you can see we have the option to upload a file. So what you want to do is click on choose file. I'm going to click there now. So now you can go ahead and take a picture or you can choose a picture of your photo library. So actually I was, someone sent me a picture and I think they're catfishing me. So I'm going to go ahead and click on photo library. Okay. I went ahead and chose a photo. Now it's uploading onto Google right now as we speak. And I actually just took a photo of my chapstick right here. And then as you can see, Google just pulls up images that might be related. So I didn't get a very clear picture. It was a small quality picture. So it pulled up something called a cylinder, which is not exactly correct. So what you probably want to do is go ahead and upload a clearer picture. If someone's trying to catfish you and pull a scam on you, make sure it's a clear picture and that way Google can pull up the right information. So there you have it. That is how you can do a reverse image search on your iPhone or iPad using Safari. One thing I want to note before I let you go is make sure that you switch this back to mobile version request on Safari if you choose to do so. Otherwise, all of the websites you pull up are going to be the desktop version for the most part. If you happen to know an easier way to do this, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.